Good morning. No, y'all, it's good afternoon. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I had my grandbaby, and I had to wait till my son come to get baby Ryan from me before I get started. He going to bring him to me at 1120. I said, Andrew, I got to do my morning check-in before 12. Only for 10 minutes, mom. Only for 10 minutes. But you know, it was a little bit longer than 10 minutes to the point I've had to say, Andrew, you got to come get baby Ryan. I'm running late. Baby Ryan, but you know, grandkids, you know. But I am here. I'm sorry, guys. I am here. Good morning. Yes, the math is math and that one and one. That's what I'm talking about. Do what you do. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Where you are, we are doing the our morning check in to turn to afternoon check in. Okay. But guess what? We are here. I told you, unless I got an emergency, it's it, it, it's coming. I'm coming. What's up, Kobe 11? What up, Meredith? Hey, Black and Bipolar. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday. We are on our way to another what? Successful weekend. Hey, Tita. Likes camera. Actually, what's up, Angela? Yeah. What's up, Bridget? Hey, Aries. Yeah, so um, I got caught up with the grandbaby this morning. Look, it's Central Standard Time for me, so it's still morning. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I got caught up with my grandbaby this morning. So I had to, like, you know, hurry his father. Come and get baby Ryan. Come and get baby Ryan. I'm late. I'm late. You made me late. Yeah, but, um, you know, it's always good to help our family, you know. He need me a quick hold him do so he do something but yeah it's all good it is tuesday and it is nine thumbs up with 37 people in this chat hey michelle hey internet hey greta b thank you baby thank you greta um but we trying to get another congratulations in here but before we get hey amy what to, if you're doing bacon or like roasting, I usually do my chicken like on 375. 375 for a nice, good roasted chicken. And it depends on how many pieces you got, um, what you're cooking. What, what are you cooking? Legs, thighs, wings. Hey, Miss Scott. But I cook my chicken on 375. And if it's a whole chicken, about maybe two hours or so, two and a half, make sure it's done. And I cook it like on 375. Chicken do not take long to cook in the oven, and when it's at a good temperature, and if you're cooking something like legs or something, hey, Miss Phoebe, yes, but three seventy five for some nice good roasted chicken, season it well, put the foil on it for like for um about thirty forty minutes and take the foil off. Hey, Wanda. Hey, sophisticated lady. Hey, Tay Cooper. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, family. Please come on in. Come on in for your morning check-in. Your girl is here. Who ain't go to bed till 8 o'clock this morning. But I'm going to tell you why I ain't going to bed till 8 o'clock this morning. Because I woke up at 2 a.m. And when you wake up in the middle of the night, you know, it's, it's, it's like that. It's like that. But before we get started, guys, get them thumbs up. 46 people, 21 thumbs up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But we do this every morning. We do this every morning. What she say? Okay. We do this every morning. And I know you guys do it. By now, you're probably doing it when I'm not here on Sundays. But. We want to thank God for waking us up, for spending another day with our family and friends. Because that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Because, baby, you woke. You got a purpose, okay? You woke. You're meant to be here. Oh, uh, and then, whoo, let me woosah a little bit before we get into everything. Um, My sister called me. Then I got a text from Kim, um, a text from Miss Krista, just Krista, because uh, y'all know I live in the DMV area, and I'm in here sleeping because, like I said, I just went to bed at eight o'clock. My son wakes me up by eleven fifteen, asks me to watch the baby. I don't have no TV or anything going. I told you guys I don't follow the news, but apparently here in the Baltimore area, a bridge has collapsed in Baltimore, and there are several casualties. And I just want to take prayers out to those people, their family, everybody who was in this situation. Guys, we need to pray for them. Um, we need to have, you know, pray for them. Make sure everyone is okay.
okay. I don't know what's, I don't know what happened, how it happened. I just woke up to, you know, a couple of people telling me this. And I was like, what? Yes. I said, oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, my prayers go out to all the family. You know, I haven't seen it yet. They said a bridge collapsed in Baltimore. And they said there are several crack, um, 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 casualties. Yes, I heard uh, uh, my sister said that a ship hit the bridge. And I'm like, what? And so I said, well, I'm about to go live. When I go off my live, I'm going to go check it out on YouTube. Because like I said, I don't watch the news. And then plus I was asleep, hit by a cargo ship. Oh, my goodness. And um, I, so I was like, did cars fall into the water? Is that a water bridge? She said, yes. So I was like, oh, my God. Hey, sleep the star. Hey. So I'm like, my prayers go out to all the families and to all the injured. Yes, Meredith. Yes. It was a huge ship, Sadie. Oh, my goodness. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Uh, but just Krista, yeah, just, just Miss Krista sent me a message. Wanted to make sure that um, me and my family wasn't affected by it. I said, no. I told her, no, we're good. You know, we 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 in Maryland, but we're not in the Baltimore area. But, um, yeah, so most definitely my prayers go out to all the injured and family. Hope they get all the support that they um, could get. Only two people they found also. Oh, my goodness, Michelle. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yes, Amy, that's what I just woke up to, too. The video, it got a whole video on it. It's always something before the holidays. That's right, because Memorial Holiday is coming up. Um, we're about to hit, um, so this March, April, or oh, Easter, not Memorial Holiday, it's Easter. It's this Sunday, y'all. Easter is this Sunday, yes. So, um, prayers go out to their family, to the injured. Hope, hope you know, whoo, this is a whole lot, man. This is a whole lot. A whole lot, whole lot. Hey, Stacy. Always got to stay prayed up. That's why I was not going to miss my morning check-in. I said, it's about to turn to afternoon because I had my grandson. But like I say, if I don't have an emergency, if I don't have anything going on, anything that's making me, making the unstoppable stoppable, I will be here. Yeah, my sister don't like bridges. She don't like bridges. Honey, I'm getting to the point that I don't even want to go on no cruise. Y'all been seeing all these carnival cruises since been sinking, catching fire, sinking. And I want to go, to, I don't know if I don't even want to go on a cruise. Never even been on a cruise before. And I'm like, what? What is going on here? I say, and then people posting this stuff, and it's like, it making me not want to go on no cruise now. Because that's one of the things that I want to do. I want to do a cruise. Yeah, it's most definitely Miss Sophisticated Lady. I want to do a cruise, but I'm so skeptical. Yeah, hey, CC, I'm going to see it. I didn't have a chance to see it. If I do, if I want to see it, you know, um, we just got we just got to put our prayers out there. Just got to put our prayers out there. Um, yeah, so family, if you have a TikTok, if you have a TikTok, I am officially in the running to be one of the three people that may win Kimmy's creation contest. Kimmy creation is a big um, TikTok um, influencer with food and everything. She got over 3 point something million followers, over 64 million likes and stuff like that. She is a real big deal on TikTok. And she hosted a contest using her seasoning. Well, y'all, this is the reason why I woke, I said it was so late. I was in that kitchen. I thought it was two hours. I was, it took me four hours in the kitchen from six o'clock to 10, a little bit after 10. 10.04 exact when I got finished and I finally looked at the time. It took me four hours to make this 16-minute video. Then a 16-minute video that I had to cut down to 10 minutes because TikTok don't go past 10 minutes. But I got the video down to 8 minutes. Um, But, I, guys, we are unstoppable over here. I'm thinking positive. I hope I'll be one of the people that she picked. I made um seafood mac and cheese um, using... um. 
just um, Kimmy's um, garlic butter and herb seasoning. You had to use one of her seasoning in the recipe. You had to show your body. You had to show you cooking. You had to do a voiceover. And you had to do ASMR in the video. And you had to show you tasting your food. So the video is up. If any of my Soul Squad members, because the wins is based on likes. It's based on likes. And I hashtagged her. And you had to do hashtag Kimmy's Contest. So, y'all, and when I tell y'all that seafood mac and cheese was good, that thing was good. And her, and you guys, her um, garlic and butter herb seasoning is good. And it tastes really good on seafood. I made, I made garlic mashed potatoes with it. It tastes good on mashed potatoes. Um, it is DMV. We love our seafood here. And to have a good um, seasoning to take it to a different level, I will both. I will be ordering more of her seasoning because the seasoning is, it, it's, it's just like it's good. It tasted real good on my seafood and it tasted real good in my cheese sauce. So, and you know, just go check out the video. Uh, my video is up. This is a contest video, guys. So we got to get them likes up, uh, comments, likes, everything. Um, save, shares, um, hashtag, um, everything. Oh, yes. So you're going to like it because I am going to do a crab ball video with her seasoning because that's the video I wanted to do at first. But everybody was saying it was a little bit too simple. So I made this. Um, I made seafood mac and cheese. Yes, I, I'm with you on the seafood ball because I said that, too. So, you know, I, I got some left. So I'm going to be doing a little mini seafood ball with it. And yeah, because that thing, that thing is got good flavor. I, I don't know about her other seasoning, the um, all-purpose one, but that butter garlic is, yes, it's on point. So, guys, if you, if you have a TikTok, uh, please go over and like my video. The video is based on, the three winners is based on likes. So, you, you got to get high likes. Like I said, I'm on TikTok. I be doing my thing over there on TikTok. I told my sons to pass it on to their friends who got a TikTok. And the video is worth watching because the video is like, Ugh, that lobster, that um, seafood mac and cheese is like, it's looking good and it tasted so good. We had that for dinner last night. What I left though was sweet potato cornbread. Everybody got mad because <laughs> if you saw my video, I, my money, my Monday video, I put up on my food channel with the roast beef, sweet potato cornbreads, roast beef and carrots and onions and broccoli and cheese. I think I only had like four pieces. And that sweet potato cornbread left. And you know your girl had to get a piece. Since I made the first plate on video, I grabbed that first piece of sweet potato cornbread. Hey, Antoinette. And honey, that sweet potato cornbread matched with that, sea, with that seafood mac and cheese. Man, that was everything. Only thing that made me mad, my son Josh was talking about, what you make it with? Are you going to fry some chicken? I said, I'm not frying no chicken. I said, first of all, you're lucky that you're getting this. Second of all, this is a contest video. So I'm putting my all into this. I said, third of all, third of all, it's seafood. You got lobster, shrimp, and salmon. What do you need fried chicken for? Come on now. I said, if you want some fried chicken, you better order some Popeyes. <laughs> I'm not frying no chicken. I'm not taking no chicken out too fried. I said, this is dinner. This all you need. I said, better grab a piece of this cornbread. But I grabbed my spur. And they said, this all the cornbread? I said, yep. And I ain't making no more. <laughs> I was going in on the last night, but they enjoyed it because I'm going to tell you, Joshua wasn't in his room. He got his, he got his piece of cornbread, got his food. He was in his room a good 15 minutes while Andrew and Rachel was making their plate. He come back. Oh, yeah, y'all. Um, I, I need no plate. Hey, that plate was empty. I said, oh, y'all gonna eat all this up. But we did get some leftover um, seafood mac that's in the refrigerator now. Since it's leftover and it's not that much because they tore in. Only person eating that is Jackson because he don't like seafood. He don't like, Jackson don't like seafood. So he the only person didn't get none. I don't even know what Jackson ate last night. Honey, I was so tired. When that video was over, I came in this room. I laid down and I think I was asleep less than 10 minutes, okay? And I woke up. When I woke up, it was 2.15. I woke up at 2.15 in the morning and, and they had put away the food. 
I went in the kitchen, the food was put away, and I walked around and everything, and I came back, y'all, and that was it. I couldn't go back to sleep. I think I probably went to bed by 11 o'clock. So that little three hour made me feel like I was well rested. And I did not, honestly, I was up to eight o'clock this morning. I literally just went to bed at eight o'clock this morning looking at TV. Good morning, Robin. Um, so if you don't have a TikTok, can you make one real quick? Hit like for your girl, leave a comment. Then I guess you could delete your TikTok. <laughs> Hey, Kayla Love 01, welcome to the chat. Welcome to Soul Squad. Welcome to my channel. And if you got a TikTok, please go over and like my video. I just ended the food contest. And, you know, I think the video came out great, guys. I'm very proud of the video. I'm very proud of the food. The food came out great. Um, now it's up to the people to get me there. But I have confidence. Like we said, our model this year, our model forever is um, thank you, Robin, is unstoppable hashtag unstoppable we can do anything that we set our mind to you just gotta believe it have faith and go and go for it excuse me have faith in god he got faith in you and you do what you need to do to get yourself to where you need to get to honey you're gonna be you're gonna be great like i tell you life is a competition hey cc life is a competition we trying to get it done but not talking about me all oh, my accolades you know I am really living in the moment here with this consistency. I am feeling good. Uh, my channel name is Soulful T. It's, it's girl, we got, we got, we, it's Soulful T 45. You know, we got to take that name on every platform under Soulful T. So it's Soulful T 45, sophisticated lady. And thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, hey, D Green. How you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So yes, um, so the video came out great. Um, it will be. I will be putting it up on. Since I just put a video up today, yesterday on my food channel, this video gonna go up because I am gonna put the seafood macaroni and cheese video. I still have it in my uh, thing. Thank you, Miss Sophisticated Lady. Um, um, since I don't have a um. Uh, it's not 16 minutes. I cut the video down to eight minutes because of TikTok. So I will be posting the video tomorrow on my YouTube video. So if you want a good seafood mac and cheese video, it'll be up tomorrow on my Soulful Tea video. Um, and I'm going to try, once I get finished off this, I'm going to try to cut it down again to a one minute video because I'm gonna try to I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make a reel out of it so I could do a reel on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, so I could promote it to so people go over to the TikTok video and like it from there. So I'm am gonna um downsize it to a to a mini reel. But yeah, but right now it is up, it is doing its thing. We got to get the numbers in. I truly appreciate it. I think this is gonna be such a blessing and such an opportunity to uh to, to, to be part, to get chosen of one of the three because I will love her mentorship. You know what I'm saying? You know, people, we learn, like I tell you guys, we learn stuff every day. It's never too late to learn. And, and you know, it's never too late and you're never old enough. You're never too old to have a mentor. You know, someone someone who's doing things right, who know what they're doing, someone who could guide you in the right directions. And you're never too old for that. And so, um... I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I believe and I pray and I have confidence that the videos are going to do well. Um, we just got to sit back and wait. The contest don't end until March the 31st at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. So we won't know anything and probably until next week. Um, I cooked my roast for... I put my roast in. I cooked that roast for four hours. I cooked that roast for four hours. When I tell you, I might say, even because I just let it stay. This is what I do. Because I, I don't like a stringy roast. My sons don't like a stringy roast. If you overcook a roast like my mom used to do, I love you, mommy. But rest in peace. But you know, girl, you was messing them roasts up, overcooking the roast. I don't like a stringy roast because when you overcook your roast, your roast could get stringy. I don't like that. So I, I, I cook it on 350, covered. Don't go in it. 
I don't go. I didn't go. The whole time was in the oven. I placed it in the oven and didn't touch it. I didn't go flip it. I didn't go stir it. I didn't do anything. I, I seasoned it the way I wanted it to be seasoned. I wrapped it up in that foil and I stuck it in the oven and, that's, and it, I just let it stay for four hours. When I took it out and I took that um, wrap it off on, on video, that was my first time seeing it like it was y'all first time seeing it. And she came out good. What you got to do too though, but it holds grease. You see how I dumped all that grease off? When I dumped all that grease off and it was just a little bit of gravy left, I went and made more gravy and I pulled on top of it and stirred it up. Uh, did I do a video on making the gravy? Did I capture me making the gravy? I think I got a great video. Yes. Yes, Miss VP. Hey, just Krista. Girl, I'm mad at you, just Krista. I needed you last night, girl. I was up. I was, it was at four o'clock. <laughs> I said, let me see if just Krista up doing her late night thing talking. Because your late night conversations, it'd be really good. You know, it don't be like the daytimes, you know, you know, some people be getting into it and stuff. But your late night ones for us um, people who don't sleep be really good. But I went on it last night. You were there. But you had a um thank you cc it was good girl it was and the only reason i only use carrots and onions because i had mashed potatoes if i didn't have mashed potatoes i would use carrots onions and some little red potatoes um but you was doing you was doing a silent one no i said no conversation no talking i said I left a message and I said, good night. I said, I'm out. I said, I need some conversation because I was up. I was, trying, I was trying to be entertained. I was trying to have a conversation. <laughs> I said, she on silence tonight. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I really love your late night um your late night commentary uh, commentary when when, when everybody because it's a lot of night owls. Uh, you did. <laughs> it's a lot of night owls, and I'm one of them. I am one that I be up at night. Oh, y'all. Another thing. If you guys got TikTok, you know my boy T.Y. That's my brother from another mother. That's my YouTube brother. Me and him talk. You know he got a good successful TikTok over there too with one point something million followers, over 25 million likes. So he over on TikTok doing his thing. You know I had to get some advice from him. Yeah, and I, and I seen this. You know TikTok, because I used to wonder this. I, I, don't, I watch a lot of those lives before. TikTok lets you show movies. They don't ban you because your, your TikTok lives don't stay up. So I was like, he said, do what you do. He said, you look, I was trying to figure out what can I do? Because I told him, I said, I really don't want to cook on TikTok. I said, I said, I post my reels up to promote my food video, to, to promote my YouTube channel. That's why I do the one minute food reels to promote my YouTube channel so people could go up to my YouTube channel get, get to get more viewers and stuff over there. I said, but with TikTok, I want to do something different. I want to be engaging. He was like, do you say you love movies? He said, people love looking. He said, he said, things that people love over there. They love the conversation. He said, what you doing over there on your um on your um blog channel? They love that. Um he said, um, then you know you love watching TV. You look at a live TV. He said, go live and watch TV. And people like to see your live reaction while you're looking at a show. I said, we could do that. I said, because I see people um do TVs. I said, but I saw them do um, uh, hey Lisa Love. Hey, lovely love. Let me see. Lovely Love put you on blast over the taco chop. She said you was the real winner and you made your food in the microwave and your cho and your tortillas was raw. She's why I made my food in the microwave. Well, we know I, we already know that. Um, everybody saw me cook my food. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so I don't think that came from her. That's probably was a troll. You know that's probably was a troll. Don't put that. We're not gonna put that on her child. You could be a troll, Lisa. I don't know. But that's probably was a troll because she wouldn't have said nothing like that. Because she was in the video and we all saw each other cook our food. And we're not even going there. Okay, so 
And um, so he is like, you into movies, you into reviewing movies, you into reviewing shows, uh, um, you're into you into reviewing shows and everything. And so she was like, um, so um, T.Y. was like, go live. Look at TV with your people and your live reaction to the shows that you're watching. And, you know, we always talk about how we like to go, um, we, and that, we know that, um, Miss Fifi, how we like to um, go live and look at TV. So everybody who have a TikTok, uh, it is. Everybody who have a TikTok, you guys, we could go over there. We could watch TV. So I'm going to try it and see what happened. Um, it's something new, so I'm gonna do a whole little setup so we could look at TV and we could look at pick out a show. Cause I was thinking about doing um, The Walking Dead, y'all. It is the last video. I don't know how many y'all watched The Walking Dead, but I love The Walking Dead. And the sixth episode season premiere is about to be over on Sunday, so I was like, I should do that live. Good morning, Miss Woods. Good afternoon. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all, what we're not going to do, because this is our morning check-in. Morning check-in is about us having a, you know, getting our mental straight, you know, getting our day started, um, being unstoppable, uh, having faith in yourself, having faith in God, you know, checking in on each other, making sure we all good, giving prayers up or prayers to be given. We're not going to let comments or people come in and deflect us on certain issues. I know that Lovely Love didn't do that because she was in the contest with me. And we all who saw the video, we all know that everybody cooked their food on the stove and everything. So we're not going to let a person, one monkey doesn't going to stop a show. And one monkey is not going to bring our vibe down over here. Uh. <laughs> And look, I was Keith said, I was trying to see y'all get a taste test. <laughs> Man, I wish you could have. You'd have been welcome to it. See, see, DC couldn't taste the food because when I told her my menu, if I knew that she was um allergic to seafood when she said she's gonna come and help me, I probably would have did like a chicken or something else, something, something to, but see, I had already ordered my food. I already had planned what I was gonna make. And I had asked, I said, can you be around seafood? Cause some people learn to seafood probably can't be around. She said, I could be around it. She said, I just can't eat it. I said, okay then. Well, she said, no, you're good. Go with your recipe, go with what you're gonna make. She said, I could be around it. I just can't eat it. So that's why I, um, 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 DC couldn't um, taste none of my food because she was, um, she allergic to seafood and I did, I did, you know, even on the, um, on the hamburger joint, the plate one, I put, um, salmon on top. So yeah, so, but everything was good. Everything came out good. My family enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I am going to get that taco um, dessert video to you guys. It's going to be probably next week just because I only do two food videos a week on my food channel. And the next video coming up is the um, seafood mac and cheese video that will be up tomorrow. Um, so by next week, I will definitely get you guys that taco um, video. Um, what else going on? I don't know. You know, like I say, even though I just went to bed at eight o'clock this eight o'clock this morning, I do feel very energetic. Uh, um, and so I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on in my life. Um, did you guys have a good Monday? How was your Monday? Like I said, I know you guys are good because you're here. Anytime, anytime you hear in these chats, that means everything is going well. That means God woke you up. That means he got a plan for you. Be successful. Make and make your and make every day a success day. I don't care how small it is. It could be the smallest thing that make your day successful. So every day for you is successful. It's successful the time that you open your eyes up. I want you to think positive. I want you to be positive. I want you to know that you're unstoppable. Make sure you have that sign somewhere, that memo somewhere. So before you go out your door, you know that this is going to be a successful day. No matter how small it is, we're going to come back at the end of the day and say, whoo. I had a successful day. The day was good, you know? <laughs> I, I know, Crystal, right? Only because I ain't made it yet because I still have leftover cream cheese filling. And um, I, I, 
and I want in order to make it, I guess I'm gonna have to make the cream cheese filling by scratch. And I don't want to add all that extra cream cheese filling into the house. So I said I'll make it by next week because I'm gonna take this little bit of cream cheese filling that I got. And I um I had some surly pound cake, and on Sunday. I made a, a, a little TikTok video because Jackson was like, Ma, you ain't making no dessert. My mother made dessert. My mother made cake every Sunday. My mother's mother made cake every Sunday. I, I, even as much as I like cake, cake is like a big thing in our family. What's up, Taylor? Taylor, my video is up. So if you got a TikTok, please, if you know anybody, if y'all know people that got a TikTok, um... Go over and encourage them to like my seafood mac and cheese. It's the contest for Kimmy Creation. It is already up. My TikTok handle is SoulfulT45, and it's the seafood mac and cheese. I got a macaroni and cheese video up, and it's pinned. But I might unpin it so I can pin the, um, the one up. Yes, we're going to make it. I'm going to make it. I got to get more ingredients because I know you guys when we make the um when we make the cream cheese filling, you want to see me make the cream cheese filling. I don't want to use the filling that I already had, so I got to get some more ingredients for the cream cheese filling. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get up for Taco Tuesday. Uh, I'm never gonna be a different Taco Tuesday. So I'm gonna try to get up for Taco Tuesday. Then you know I gotta get some more wraps and stuff. <laughs> I know I heard about that key. <laughs> girl, I was twisted, girl. I I haven't had anything to drink since my birthday. My birthday is September and this is um this March. So do the math. I haven't had anything to drink, any alcohol in my system. <laughs> I haven't oh uh, Thank you, B. Adams. I, um, I haven't had any alcohol in my system since September. So, and I'm already a weak drinker. Hey, youngest. Oh, thank you. Well, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to our morning check-in. Now, this used to be a morning check-in, but I had my grandson this morning. I got caught up. My son got me. And so, um... And we're doing an afternoon check-in right now. But our morning check-ins is every morning from Monday through Friday before 12. Monday through Friday before 12. And then on Saturday, I, I, every Saturday check-in is at 3 o'clock because I do what? On the couch at 3. And yes, yeah, so y'all's the 24th. So, um... And I'm already a light drinker. I really don't drink. I, I'm a one drink, probably two drink minimal type of person anyway. And, um, so y'all know, and I had two full drinks. It just took me out. That's all I can say. It was, <laughs> it just took me out and I haven't felt, and then I had such a good time with DC and, um, you know, she didn't, she don't drink. Um, so it was just fun. It was just a lot of fun. The challenge was fun. The people were beautiful. You know, I got, I, I got to meet a whole different group of people on YouTube and it's just a great time. Um, but yeah, um, now I'm in my third chat, my third contest, and um, hopefully, you know, I'll be one of the winners from that. We got to get this, hey, DC, we got to get these likes up. Everybody got to go on TikTok and like my video because it's, and the reason why it's done on TikTok, because Kimmy Creation is such a big TikTok influencer. So that's why she chose that platform, her platform, where she, where she, where she's the biggest influence at over there for her platform for herself, because she has an Instagram with almost two point five million followers. I don't know how many followers she have on her, um, on her Facebook, but and, and she has um, followers, and she had like eight hundred thousand or something on YouTube. So yeah, so she chose, hey, I'm JNC to do the contest over there on TikTok, and so yeah. So I mean, it's it's done. It's up, and I and you know what? And I thank my sons for it because I I, I was gonna prolong it, but I was gonna have it up before the thirty first. Most definitely was gonna have it up before the thirty first. Um, but my sons, everybody is off on Mondays in my house if they don't work overtime. And when they saw all the ingredients, they was like. You're making seafood mac and cheese? I was like, yeah, I'm making seafood mac and cheese. And I said, they said, what are you making this? I said, I'm making it on Tuesday, which would have been Tuesday night, the night. And I was going to post my video on Wednesday. And, um, 
Oh, so I never heard her to tell come over to my son. And um, and I was reading just Krista's um message. That's why I uh, I, I paused a little bit. And so um, they was like, you gonna wait till half of us gonna be at work on Tuesday, and another half gonna be all, and we don't get all too late at night, and you gonna make? They like, mom, can you please make it a day while everybody home? And I looked at them. I was like, you know, I always give it to my sons. I was like, oh my god. I was like, they said, please make the day. Everybody home today. Hey, Miss Hers. And so I ended up making it last. I said, well, give me some time. Get myself together. I said, just give me some time. I make it. And they say, and you bought lobster anyway, and the lobster is fresh, and you want to cook that lobster tonight. You don't want to wait till tomorrow in the bottom of the refrigerator. I mean, they was pleading all type of cases, y'all. <laughs> They were pleading all type of cases, so I gave in, and I made it last night, and I'm glad they did because it um it pushed me to get it done and to get the video up on Tuesday morning versus Wednesday morning, so that I could you know not wait till last minute and I could meet the deadline by the 31st March 31st and everything. So shout out to my sons for pushing me because of their greediness. <laughs> <laughs> because they, hey, Miss Harris, welcome to the morning, the afternoon check in. And I still put morning check in up there because we're not going to change because that's what we do. We aim for the morning is morning check in. Like I said, I hope everybody had a good, successful Monday. Thank you, Miss Fifi. Uh oh. -uh. Thank you, just Krista. Um,. So, um, that's it. You know, I had a successful Monday. Monday was good. You know how people always just like, I don't like Monday. We got to stop doing that too. We pick days. We say, oh my God, I don't like Mondays. And I had done that. I had done that for years, especially when I was out there physically in the workforce. Um, we, I used to pick things to myself. Oh, I hate going to work on Monday. Monday is just such a, no. We're going to stop that too. I don't know. I have, I've been out the workforce since 2014 as far as like going in, working for someone else. I've been working for myself since 2015. But I used to say that. And I used to do that with my platform too. Oh, I'm not putting a big up on Monday. I don't like doing nothing on Mondays. This, that, or Monday, this, Monday, that. What did Monday ever do to us? Monday is just the day after your weekend. And so what did Monday... <laughs> <laughs> what did Monday ever do to us? Monday got a bad rap, okay? So, we gonna live life, stop saying we hate Monday. Monday is just an extension to another day in our life. It is another day that the, that we are gonna be wonderful. It is another day of, of, of us waking up. It is another day of us being successful. It is another day of us being us. <laughs> Somebody said, we behind go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that means that you got to drink on Friday and Saturday, and Sunday is your day to get it together. <laughs> That's the day after we get Sunday is your day to get it together, because we need you to know that Monday is a day of prosper. It's a day of making your money. It's a day of going into work. It's a day, it's a day of being success. You know what I'm saying? It's another day of your, of your success. You know, we going to stop giving Monday a bad rap. Monday ain't never do nothing to none of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Yes, I used to be like that too. I used to say that all the time. I did when I was working. I was I was part of that bandwagon. I was always against Monday. Monday just always had a bad rap sheet. She only liked when a holiday falls on her. <laughs> now let's talk about that. She's only like. She's only like when a holiday falls on her and everybody's in love with her then. <laughs> What's up, Susie Q? What's up, honey? Good afternoon. Right? Can I get an amen? Y'all know that's right, Michelle. Michelle say amen. Oh, man, fruit fly. And, and you know it. That she's only like when a holiday falls on her. She's everybody's friend then. I don't need you to be my friend only on the holiday. <laughs> Oh, man. But, hey, I used to be that person. Now, to me, Monday is just another day. I had, I had to learn to embrace Monday. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. So, yes. Oh, yeah. And see, and another thing, you guys got to get with Discord, y'all. Y'all got to get with Discord because Discord, they already had the information. 
They already knew that I was in the kitchen making the um, food for the video because Discord is like, if you're on Discord, it's a free app that you can sign up for. If you on our Discord, that is another extension of our family. That's another platform that you guys, when I don't go live or when I ain't got a video, when you guys can't hit each other up in these comments, you go up to Discord and shout out to say hello to people. People that you may know in these comments may already be part of Discord. And see, Discord gets the first look i told you i once before they get the first inside look of the next video the next food video coming up so discord already knew that i made the video they already saw the um the lobster mac and cheese um i was i posted over there let them know the trolls are in discord they are mm. i haven't recognized none yet taylor but i hope i don't and just like we do, we just pay them no attention. I haven't recognized them yet, Taylor, but I hope I don't. So all the newcomers that's coming in, if you got a TikTok, I'm entering into Kimmy's Creation new contest. The video is up. If you got a TikTok, the video, the winners are face off likes and one hand picked one by herself. Um, so yeah, so if you got a TikTok, please go over, hit the like, leave a comment, um, do a say, whatever we can do to give Miss Kimmy attention that this video is getting traction. Um, yes, because you know, I'm gonna say this. It's hundreds of people going into this contest. Hundreds. She got her hand, she her and the people, they got their work cut out for them. It's hundreds of people that's entering this contest. Yeah, I haven't seen. That's why I'm saying too, Susie Q. That's why I said too. If they're in there, they're really hiding themselves because I never, I haven't yet since we've been this. I haven't yet seen one. So I hope that the, the hope is not none over there. But so far, it's been all our rec recognizable people. That's all I ever seen. All our recognizable people over there having conversation, um, sharing food recipe. Oh, I got um, who was it? Was it Amaze Me? Who sent me? They wanted to, me to do a pear upside down cake or a pecan. I chose that I'm gonna do the pear upside down cake video. Um, just because I don't do nuts. I don't like pecans and all that other stuff. And I was to make it. I think um. They um I, yeah they might be in the background because they're not most definitely not po I'm posting anything um because I don't want to go to waste but I do love a good pear and um I never had a pear upside down cake before so that's an upcoming um dessert video guys one of my Soul Squad members asked me to do that and so um you know if I could do anything you guys to ask me to do hey kings and queens hey Karen if I could do anything that you any bill you guys ask me to do um if i can make it happen you know i'll do that for you and it looks so good so i looked up a lot of the different recipes i said okay this is something it's like making the pineapple cakes that we're using pears you know i already got my own um yellow cake recipe and so yeah so it's just like so it's just like um using the pineapple so it's very simple um so yeah so we're gonna get a pear upside down pear cake um coming soon coming soon so yeah um any recipes I could do that, you know, that's attainable for me to do financially, I would do them. You know, like I said, our food video, our food channel, and y'all don't know, I've been consistent on the food channel too. Now, I haven't not just been, hey, D, um, D Freeze, I just haven't been consistent over here. I've been consistent on the food channel too. I've been putting up those two videos a week. I said I'm doing two videos a week on my food channel, and I am doing these everyday lives. And and for the last three weeks, <coughs> I need some water, y'all. Mm. I get some water. Okay, Kern. <clears throat> Thanks for dropping by. So, if you um if you haven't noticed, um, oh last year I actually make a sweet potato pie cheesecake using your pie mix, girl. We got some truth behind that. Let me tell you the truth behind that. I did make it West Coast Cali. I made it, and it didn't come out right. 
and I should have, I made it and it didn't come out right. I made it at Brandon's house. Yes, I did. And that's, and, and you know what? And I talk about being unstoppable and I stop and I talk about letting dessert defeat me. That dessert defeated me. I made it at Brandon house when I was living with Brandon and they posted, I was put a video up and it did not, it came out, uh, it, 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 it was heavy. Um, it, the, the sweet potato infused with the, um, with the cheese, with the cheesecake mixture. I don't know what I did wrong. That's another recipe I got to go back to. I did do it, but I did not put it up because it was horrible. It was so thick and it was sunk in the middle. And, and, and I talked about people's, you know, about, well, don't let a recipe defeat it. I did it and I didn't go back to it. So you're right. I have to go back to it. I got to try again. Oh, um, I, so I have to, hey, SA graphic. So I have to try again. And hopefully, if I try again, it'll be my second time. It'll be successful. Yes, I did. I yeah, I hid that one. <laughs> I hid that one because it was horrible and it was so heavy. I was like, this damn gonna stay heavy. So I got I got to figure out another recipe and how to infuse. Cause what I did is that I swirled in the um sweet potato mix into the cheesecake. Like to do like a swirl with it. And somehow when it baked, the sweet potato mix overcame the cheesecake. And you really didn't see that part. I don't know, but I got to try again. I got to pick that on my to-do list. Hey, Angela. But yeah, so we make the day another successful day. No matter what you do. Yeah, hey, SA Graphics. Hey to everybody in the chat. Hey to everybody that's coming in. Have a good day, Angela. Uh, have a good day, Angela. Yep, so that's what I wanted to do. Do our um our morning chat. I'm um, checking. This is gonna be this is gonna be every morning. And let's see how everybody doing. Um, you know, give prayers up to everyone who need, everybody need a prayer, you know, to see how our Monday was. Mondays was great. My Monday was great. Um I got to get my grandson. I told my son I'll watch him for him real quick. But I said, you got to let me do this first. Because you know what? I love my grandson. I love my family. But I said, I got to go to work. <laughs> As I told last night, I said, look, I'm working. I got to go to work. And if you don't respect the work. No, we ain't always talking about movie trip at night. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it tonight. It's no thing. I'm coming. I'm gonna come back on tonight, tell it because I was gonna do it last night, but um, my family um, they sideswiped me and had me end up in the kitchen making that lobster mac and cheese because everybody was home for work. Because I was gonna surprise you guys and I was gonna come live and do movie trivia. And I told my son, y'all messed me up. Oh, we can. Um. We could um we could do it on TikTok. Homemade hibachi. No, I never. I never made homemade hibachi before. Hey, yes. You got your next video. Huh? Yeah, you got your next video. What's my next video? Homemade uh, hibachi spread. What is a hibachi spread? What is that anyway? Shrimp, it's shrimp, steak, mixed vegetables. Mixed vegetables. Steak. And it gotta be like have some good some good sauces. Some, some good sauces. Some fried rice, some low main noodles. Some low main noodles. I never made low main noodles. Angie told me it was a hibachi spread. Because I don't know what a hibachi spread is. Uh is it a dish? Um but he said it's a um so yeah, y'all. I'm gonna do um we're gonna do password tonight. Cause I was gonna surprise y'all last night, but my sons ambushed me. Ambushed me, and I couldn't do two things at once. 
And I was like, well, since they didn't know, I guess I'll go ahead and do the video. And like I said, I'm so glad they encouraged me to do the video last night because I got it up off the way and, you know, my nerves. And I do, I am not a fan of voiceovers. And part of the contest is that it had to be a voiceover video. It took me like three or four tries to get this voiceover as perfect as I, as I could get it. I am not a fan of voiceovers. I don't do a lot of voiceover videos. Um, I think they're so hard because I think you'd be having to like, Say the right thing at the same time as they showing the food. It's what you had at Juliet House. Okay. Okay. But doing it on a larger scale, cooking it. Okay. Yeah, because I think we had, um, what we had? We had, um, most definitely had steaks and shrimp. God dang it. Could be all meats that you use for uh, fajitas and make your homemade tortillas. Oh, okay. Okay, I like that. I have to do one. Oh, hey, Susan Q, did you ever get your little hibachi on grills? Remember when I did the video and a lot of people wouldn't order the... I never ordered mine. Did you ever use it? How did you and your husband like it? Or did you... Oh, you haven't had a chance to use them yet. I haven't... I haven't... I'm going to get some. Uh, I want to get some. Um, cause I had, I had fun when we used them that night over Julia house. It was something different. And I said, I wanted to get me some. Mm. Of course. So I was wondering, did you ever, um, and I left you a message on discord too about our show, girl. Did you like it? Did you like what happened? Oh yeah. Did you get to see it yet? We need to talk about the walk of dead, Miss Q. Yes, we do. We about to have a whole conversation at Discord about the walk of dead, Miss Q. Because I'm thinking about showing it on, on Sunday on TikTok. I'm thinking about going live on TikTok. I'm trying to figure out what my first movie going to be on TikTok. Because T.Y. really encouraged me to do movies on TikTok. He said you don't get banned. You, um, the videos don't stay up. Uh Oh, you use it a few times and you love it. That's great. I'm so glad you liked it. Um, he said the videos don't you don't get banned, you don't get interrupted. He said only time TikTok really interrupt you a watch is when you're um uh I tell my son said like Facebook, is that true? Um only time um TikTok really interrupt your live is when you're driving. They um they don't they don't they don't allow you being on live while you're driving. Um, so that he said, but other than that, he said, they don't let, he said, you can look at whole movie. I said, yeah, because I, I seen a couple people, they be looking at old TV shows and movies and having people in there be watching them with them. He said, yeah, he said, since you like movies and your, and your family, your soul squad always want to do movies. He said, y'all get on TikTok, look at all the movies y'all want to look at. So now we get on TikTok, look at all the movies we want to look at. Shoot, we could do Friday night movie nights, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm into it. That's why all I gotta do is turn my TV on and turn my camera to the TV, and we can look at a movie, especially something new, and they don't they don't interrupt us. Man, that's a whole good time happening. You know, because you two got so many rules and regulations that we just can't break. You know what I'm saying? And and I do know, and I do know, everybody don't have a TikTok, and I do feel bad that everybody don't have a TikTok. That everybody probably wouldn't be able to join us over there on movie night. But it's a handful of us, huh, babe? I'm gonna make some breakfast. You would you? This what you do? Go take, go find some bacon, and take the bacon out. Um, you want sausages? Go see how much. you want Sasha's links. Go see if you Sasha's links in there. Take it out. Take the egg. What sandwich? Oh, you want a turkey and cheese egg sandwich? Yeah. All right. So go take out the cheese and the turkey and the eggs. And the clean pan is already on the stuff. Take everything I'll have on the counter. So by the time I come out there, it'll be out there. What? Why you want turkey and sausage? That's being big. That's being real big. You be, don't do don't do that. I don't like that. No, I really don't like that because um that's they start calling that girl Tisa and I never heard a big back until they start calling her that and it's so I don't like that. You're not a big back. I don't like I, that's that's I don't like that word. Once once I found out what it was, so go take out the stuff that you want to cook. Put it on the counter. So when I get off the live, I come to the kitchen. It's already there. And put some waters in the freezer. Cheese, eggs, the turkey, and the sausages. Put it on the counter. Put that on my 
Huh? Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. And, and I know he was talking about himself, but he don't mean no harm. But ever since, I, I never heard, I never knew what that meant, um, Big Back. And I never started hearing that until Risa Tisa came out and people started calling this this woman that. And it was just, and, and, and um, Charlemagne, unquote, unquote, you know, allegedly had said something about her being a Big Back. Or something, and I saw the, I saw the Instagram. I said, "Oh, he was rude," and then he tried to apologize, and his apology wasn't even really apology for real. Um, and so that's when I first heard that that saying. And then now I be seeing people saying it, and people comments and all that stuff. I, that's one thing I don't never want anything negative to go viral, a viral saying because it's so demeaning to people. Just said, girl, what's wrong with the word? My big back, my back is big. Well, that's how you feel about yourself. <laughs> oh, myself big back. I just don't like it because it's hateful. Everybody's emotions don't run the same. You know what I'm saying? If some people are sensitive to stuff. Okay, if you would call yourself one, that's good. Like Jackson was just calling himself one. You could do that. That's you. But I'm going to like it because I just don't like it. My opinion. Remember, we on here. We all got opinions and I accept them all. And my opinion is that I just don't like it. It's, the, it's, the, mm, it's, it's just not a good word. It's not. I, I just don't like it. And... um. And I'm not saying that anybody can't say it. I'm just saying it's a word that you won't hear me say out of my mouth towards nobody. Because I, I don't feel for it. What? All right. Well, take out the turkey. You said you want sausage and turkey. All right. Well, okay. I got the cheese and the turkey and the eggs and the sausage. Okay. You want some grits or something or potatoes? No. Okay. You just want a turkey, eggs, and tur turkey sausage, egg sandwich. And butter and jelly. I'm doing it. Okay, bye. Give me about 10 minutes, five minutes or so. Huh? I I was I wanted some bacon. I didn't want no sausage. I'm gonna make a turkey and I'm gonna put a piece of bacon on mine. Yeah, I wanted the bacon and egg salad. I really didn't want no sausage. Okay. Oh no, you make your own toast, Jackson. Come on now. Bye. Okay. Um, I think that big back means uh <laughs> so I know he knew I'm not he did that baby must woke up hungry. <laughs> and he woke up like, I know you lie, but I need to put in a food order. Are you doing breakfast or what? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I think that means they call the person fat, I guess. Cause I never I don't know what big back mean, but Everybody else got so emotional about it, and and I heard people say it, and I and it, to me, I think it's reference to her. Uh, um, yes, I can see you, Eastside. It's a reference to her being a, a big woman, a big girl, a big woman. It's a reference to her size. That's what I believe. That's what I got. The way they, the way they put it in the comments, the way it was said, um, it it seemed to be reference to their size, being a big person. Uh, hey, Dimitri. Uh, oh, this DC. Oh, Eastside Peacemaker. I see you now. You had to make a whole new thing to get in my thing. I believe, I, me too. That's why I don't like it. Oh, y'all. So that's DC Kool Aid, y'all. Eastside Peacemaker. I like that. That's DC Kool Aid. Now I know who you are. I got to remember, though, because it took me a long time to remember. I never heard it before either. That was my first time, too. West Coast. Uh, it may be that, too. Bye. Y'all Dre Lee. All right. Bye, Ryan Ryan. I'm here crying with me this morning. Give me a kiss. Your grandma kiss kiss. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. All right. Look at him. He, be, he was asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Drive safe. All right, boo. Bye. 
Look, he ready to my bow. You ready, bow. He ready to go. <laughs> Well, I think he said, grab me, go. <laughs> hey, hey, Miss Montgomery in the house. Okay, y'all, I'm about, to, look, I know some people just came in. You see her as DC Kool-Aid uh, earlier. Yeah, for some reason, I, everybody could um see her and she did fix it, but then it got messed up again. So, and I told her, I didn't touch it. And. I don't got nothing for Easter yet. I don't know. I have a Purdue. I have two Purdue's in my freezer. Uh, but like I said, people used to do Easter ham and stuff. Um, but we don't really do ham in here too much. Um, but um, I know you tell me to make breakfast. It depends on how I feel when I go in the kitchen, boo. Uh, I don't. Um, I think I'm going to do. Uh, I got some oven stuffers. Roasted. I think I'm going to do roasted chicken. And I got a cabbage, and I make a lot of cabbage and broccoli because my and they like string beans. The three my go-to vegetables are carrots, bro, um, broccoli, cabbage, and string beans, green beans. They don't like. Uh, I think that's okay. I, they don't like um, collard greens or kale like that. So I really I don't I don't make collard greens and kale too much unless I was like if I'm selling some type of dinners or something like that. Uh, they're the same veggies in this house. Yeah, so those are the only four vegetables that I really cook is the green beans with smoked turkey necks and stuff, a cabbage or broccoli and carrots. Other than that, they don't they don't do collard greens. They don't like collard greens. Uh, I, I I can't afford it. Don't braise ribs cost too much money. And so I'm gonna use our I'm, I'm gonna use what I got in my freezer. Uh, I, I can't afford it. Don't braise ribs cost too much money. Now you want a pork chop breakfast? <laughs> I haven't had pork chops or made pork chops in probably whoo. Alright. Um I haven't made pork chops in, oh my goodness. And see, this is the thing. Hey, Teresa, a, a lot of, of my family and, you know, my boys are trying to stay away from pork. About $27 to three pounds of bones. Yes. A lot of my family try to stay away from pork. So, um, Andrew don't eat no pork at all. And um, my mother was real hot on Easter dinner. I don't. I rarely do Easter dinner. Some years I skip Easter dinner. Some years I don't. But um, my mother used to do an Easter ham every day. My mother was big on holidays. My mama loved holidays. Every holiday you getting a meal. You getting a meal every Sunday. But every holiday she's going out. And um, my family don't really like too much pork anymore. So um, the the most pork we have in our house is um, bacon. But we got turkey bacon and regular bacon. And the regular bacon is just like, well, me, Joshua, Fufu, Andrew. Andrew don't eat it. Andrew eat turkey bacon. Andrew will not do no pork at all. So I haven't had pork chops in a long time. So I was like, if there's nobody in here to eat it, why do it? Yeah, well, if there's nobody in here to eat it, why do it? So we don't do too much pork. We're about to start not doing beef. Um, um, Because I, I, I used to make turkey burgers religiously. Everybody love my turkey ground beef um, when I do it. Turkey meatloaf, turkey burgers. It all just, if you season it well, it all just tastes so good. Do chicken. Well, I don't have a waffle iron. I don't have a waffle iron, so that's why I can't do chicken and waffles. Because if I do chicken and waffles, I'm not doing chicken and no egos. <laughs> Chicken and eggos. I need some chicken and wobble. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> and so I bought a big thing of turkey meat. And so I'm gonna start doing more of um uh, uh, I'm gonna start doing more uh <laughs> more turkey burgers and turkey food stuff. <laughs> yeah, so if I do chicken and wobbles, I'm gonna give you some fried chicken. I'm gonna pop some eggos out the toaster. They gonna go in on me. <laughs> They gonna go in in the comments. I can see it now. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. I hear you, Miss Faith. I hear you. 
I could do that. Um, yeah, but that's so funny. Y'all, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I love you guys so much. Have a successful day. Be positive. Have faith in yourself. Anything that you want to do, just know that you can do it. Uh, put a waffle iron and a potato masher on your list. Okay, crap, I quit. I will. Anything, anything. Thank you guys for all the suggestions. Thank you so much. <laughs> and tell the trolls, I said, don't shake my head. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm going to get in here go cook Jackson some breakfast. And then everybody getting work, um, getting ready for work. So, and then, so all the videos I was going to make yesterday. Um, Susie Q had the Discord. Um, I can't pin anything. Susie Q, if you could drop the Discord for DC, um, that would be so grateful. If you could drop the Discord for DC. Because she wants the Discord information. Yeah, we be having fun over in Discord. We do just lay down. Because I'm going to tell you, Ty been saving me. Ty probably in the house sleep, knocked out because he work overnight. I could always count on him at 4 o'clock in the morning. I be like, what you doing? He make me laugh. Man, I just love myself some Ty. Ty is funny as heck, man. He is so funny funny and i be in here three o'clock in the morning on discord when i'm and i'll be like ty where you at where you at i know you up <laughs> i'll be disturbed i'll be disturbing that man at work <laughs> because i can't sleep but he but he never lets me down he never lets me down so i appreciate him for that because he didn't help me do a lot of sleepless night you too shelly have a great day guys i was waiting to see if uh if um, um, Susie Q heard me about the Discord for um, DC could grab the Discord link. That's how I was waiting on. Mm. Oh, my grandbaby got home. I got to say something this water. I need to take my medicines. I need to say something this water for that. Mm. But, yeah, this is a great um, check-in. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is hump day. These weeks are just going, going. Get out here. And I think we're going to have a good summer. I think we're going to have this weather is bipolar. It's so up and down. But I think we're going to have, I think the weather going to be good. I think we are. I'm ready. I'm ready for get. I'm ready to do my patio. I'm ready to sit outside. Um, this court is, um... Is it like Facebook? It could be something. Hey, Lee. Uh, it could be something like Facebook. It's, just, it's, it's, it's another app to give you opportunities to talk to each other. Especially like I like, especially when I don't go live, you guys have somewhere else to, somewhere, somewhere else to go to and do check-in, to holler at each other. Again, so there's so many things. You could do music on there. You could do um, selfies on there. Um, you could do food and recipes on there. I'm ready to. I'm ready. I'm ready to decorate my patio. I'm ready to. I'm ready to sit outside on my patio and to be, and just be chilling out there, you know, on a good night and a good um and a good day and stuff. Yeah. So Discord it, it's something like Facebook. You put your information, you know, put your stuff up there. You can talk to people, have long conversations. Um, and you know, and it got different sections that you could do. Like they got the food and recipe section, the general chat section is just when you just go in and do just regular old talking and they got phone calls. Like you can actually call someone or, or DM personally. You don't have to be in the general chat. They got the DM section where you could DM someone directly, excuse me, without nobody, um, seeing your message, but it's going directly to him to him or her so it's a lot you could do over there um that keep you guys you keep you guys in touch with each other outside of youtube uh there you go dc i can't pin the dc so grab it west coast cali just put it up grab it dc grab it west coast cali just put it up uh, for some reason i can't even pin no more yeah, I'm finna turn. But at one time, man, when Discord first got started, you had to turn the notifications off because we were they were they were coming in. They were coming in. I'd be seven o'clock in the morning and I'd be like, oh, somebody on Discord. They would come in, man. We first got Discord. We weren't playing over there. But you know what? I feel like we're coming back. 
I feel like we coming back. A lot of our same people are coming back over there. We're getting to know each other, getting in discord. It's like we rebuilding our family again. And it's nothing like but family. Oh, okay. I can't pin it. I'm supposed to be putting it on my end, but it can hold. You guys can't pin it. I, I but um it uh, it won't pin unless you can see if you can pin. I never knew. Maybe a mod could pin. Um, but I, for some reason, YouTube didn't did so much stuff. They didn't mess stuff up, and I can't even pin on my live no more. I could pin comments after the live inside comments, but the live I used to be able to pin the whole stuff. I can't do it no more. I don't know what's going on. What is really going on? They be changing stuff up. It's so crazy. All right, guys, let me go. Let me go cook. Um, I, this was a wonderful Tuesday afternoon morning check-in. No, we can't pin. Y'all can't pin either. Okay. Because I know over there on um, TikTok, the mods can pin. I've been a lot of people live TikTok and a mob will pin somebody's um comment and stuff. And um and then my person will say, I just pinned the comment. So over there on TikTok, TikTok platform, you do a lot more things so that you can't do on YouTube, but YouTube gonna always be my first love because it's where I met you guys at. And um, and this is where I met my second family at, so I ain't gonna never give up on this. Yes, why I always try something new, yeah, because we gotta try something new. It's the human in us, you know what I'm saying? We gotta try something new, we gotta start, we gotta step out of our comfort zone, we gotta do things that we never thought that we would do before, just to say that I tried it, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, well, I try other platforms, most definitely, I will always try other platforms, but I will never leave YouTube. Yes, we are, yes, we are. We are tonight. I will never use. I will never leave YouTube because this is this YouTube is my home base. This is where I got to where I am. You guys are the reason why I got to where I am. So YouTube will always be first, and now um, other platforms will come second. But this is my home right here. It's nothing like home. <laughs> hey, well I'm out. I'm about to go. Um, um, West Coast Cali. I see you. And Discord, Susan Q, I see you and Discord, good girl. We got to talk about The Walking Dead, that episode on Sunday, and I'll be ready for the last and final episode. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I can't go eight, nine months without, I don't know what I'm going to do, girl. We going to have Daryl, because Daryl coming this summer, and Curl going to be on there with Daryl. So we going to have some, I hope they come back with more than eight episodes. I hope, uh, yeah, we doing Password. And I promise y'all, I'm making this promise, y'all, yes, I am coming. I was going to come last night, but my son sidetracked me with that food. So, but I am, I was going to surprise you guys last night, but I am coming tonight. I I, I, I got this, I promise you guys. Um, Yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but we got Daryl for the summer because he coming in the summer. Yeah, we met through. Uh, yes, we did, Mrs. Montgomery. We never forget our romance, how we met through YouTube. <laughs> Everybody said, well, how did you meet Mr. Montgomery through YouTube? <laughs> oh, man, you just make me laugh. <laughs> Oh, I am out. Are you coming to the cook-off? That's what I want to know. Are you coming to um the barbecue in June? How many of you guys coming in June? Have you made your minds up? Because I told you, room book, hold, uh, my room is book, my um cars book. We just got to get our tickets, and then we got to see whether or not I get, I get to be a vendor. But if I don't get to be a vendor, I find out anytime after April the 16th, I'm still going. How many guys made your mind up? Are you coming out to um the um barbecue cook-off in um in South Carolina? I would love to see you guys there. We could, we could be chilling. Oh, you got a, tour a tournament that weekend. Your son has a tournament that weekend. Okay. But guess what? I'm going to vlog it. I won't be going live because I heard the internet is crappy. But you will be having some vlogs to see. Oh, we that's every day, Antoinette. That's every day without, even, with, without that being said. That's every day. We that's something we that's 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 why we got these check-ins to give prayer up to family, to those, you know, we don't know what people are going through. 
We just got, you know, give prayer that God is helping each and every one of us, that he is part to each and every one of us, our lives. And then we go through is because what? He's testing us and he's going to help you get through it. You just got to have believe. Oh, you still, um, okay. Okay. Thank you, Kazon. You know, I'll mess your name up. Missy, Missy, Missy. Okay. Yeah, check your schedule. Check your schedule. Check your schedule, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm out of here. My baby looked at me like, are you ever going to cook breakfast? That man's stomach growling. <laughs> I do too, Karen. Yes, it is. It is. Everyone have an unstoppable day. You say a prayer for Baltimore people. Yes. We did that at the beginning, you know. That our prayers go out to their families, to everyone that was injured. Um, it's such a terrible situation. Yeah. It's so hard when stuff like this happens. Like I said, I woke up to it. And I just pray that everyone is um is okay. I'm just praying that everyone is okay. And in an event of something like this, is it so is it so unbelievable, man? We we just never know what things gonna happen. Uh, Michelle said, I'm working on it. Yes, have faith. I want to come. Work on it. Work on it. You know, if you can't, it may be, you know, um, Lord willing, we always got next year. You know, I just threw this out here because it got thrown at me when I saw the, when I got the um, notification. I said, oh, yeah, I got time to make this happen. So, yeah, I'll never leave. I got to go. Love you guys. <laughs>